Welcome to another edition on li of Life on a Seed Farm. You're back here at Earthly Delights Farm. We're in midsummer here, I guess, what is this, August 24th? And uh, we're, I'm, with, I'm right here with Sunny and Amanda. They're in the zinnia patch. They're going through and pulling out uh, certain zinnia flowers that have kind of weird off types that we don't want in our seed crop. So we get a little bouquet to take home and that keeps our seed crop um, looking how it needs to look um, for both pollinators and people. Okay, let's move on. Let's see what else is going on. I would pollinate. And look who we have here. It's Brenna. And she's been working on radish seeds. So she's been harvesting these all day. She's waiting until they turn brown and dry on the plant. And then harvesting those. If you want to come in close, you can get a little sneak peek at what's in these pods. Perhaps little radishes in there. That's what we're looking at there. So, so she's harvesting these. We'll let them dry down on a tarp for a couple weeks and then we'll stomp on them and run them through the fans and winnow them out. Oh, and look over there. If you pan out this way, you can see all these wonderful folks. They're doing lettuce seed right now. Even Brian, who's just here visiting, got roped into this project <laughs> of harvesting lettuce seed. And then we've got Tracy out there harvesting a different variety of mantilla. And then Ashton's over in that corner doing red velvet lettuce. All the lettuces are separated out a little bit so we can prevent cross-pollination. Howdy! Uh, I found Kim over here. She's the squash hand pollination queen. So this is the, these are some of the fruits of her labors. Um, what she's been doing is she's been looking at taking, she's been taking male and female flowers of squash plants. You can see these are two different ones. There's a male here that just has a straight stem and a little penis looking thing in there. And then a female here has a little squash stuck to her butt. Okay, so she's been taping these shut the day before they open. And then the next day she's been coming through and she'll pull the pet yeah go ahead she'll pull the petals off of this guy make him into a little paintbrush mm -hmm. she'll and swab do, the female do, with the do, male do, 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 do. <laughs> and then she'll tape her back up again real quick to make sure she doesn't get any pollen from anything other than the dad that we want her want the squash to have and so these are yellow crooknecks that she's hand pollinated that are now growing she marks them with a the little twist tie so we make sure we don't pick them and eat them after all that hard work She's got 27 of these bad boys done out here so far. Pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Let's... now you're up top at the farm where you can see that Kim and Tracy are working on selecting out onions for our seed crop for next year. So we're doing Rosa di Milano onions um, for seed next year. So these ones they have picked out as being the highest quality ones that are truest to type. We'll save these and plant these in the fall and the rest of them we're gonna be eating um, before that time. So let's go this way and see what else is happening. Here's Ashton doing a little tomato seeds in the blender. And then we've got, what else is happening? Then we've got Amanda and Brenna over here. They're doing some tomato seed saving as well. Amanda's doing green zebras. And Brenda's doing Ida Golds. So if you're curious about more information about tomato seed saving specifically, check out our video about tomato seed saving. All right, thanks for tuning in to Life on a Seed Farm. Woohoo!